Number 17, this is 1942 Washington quarter in PR66 plus condition. According to NGC, proof sales rose about 40% over those of 1941 and would continue their rapid climb were it not for the interruption of the World War II. This turned out to be the last year of proof coinage until 1950. The Philadelphia Mint coined some 28,000 proof quarters just to have 21,000 offered for sale. An additional 123 appear in, in published figures, but these coins were reserved for essay and subsequently destroyed. The proof quarters of 1942 were well made overall. Though the problem of the over-polished dice left many coins with poor or missing details among the design features of the lowest relief. Gems are plentiful through PF67, but examples grading higher are very rare. These PR66 plus specimen ended up selling for $216. Number 16, 1981 S Kennedy of Dollar in PR70 deep cameo condition. This is a rare clear S mint mark style of the proof 1981 S half dollar, represented here by a pristine low pop PCG SPR70 deep cameo. Silky smooth surfaces are untoned apart from a few swirls of pale gold, tin pale gold tinting in the center of obverse. It was sold for $690. Number 15, this is 1941 S. Jefferson Nickel with repunched mint mark S over S, graded as MS65 by PCGS. Not only is a large S mint mark style scarce for 1941 S. Jefferson Nickel, but the present example exhibits a secondary S south of the primary mint mark. Silver gray surfaces are fully lustrous and expectably smooth at the gem grade level. It was sold for $1840. Number 14, this is 1950s Washington Quarter in MS67 condition, attractively toned superb gem. The peripheries of this dazzling coin display partial halos of crimson orange, pale gold, and powder blue iridescence, brilliant in the centers and frosty throughout. Both sides are nice enough to suggest an even higher superb gem rating. It ended up selling for $2,880. Number 13, here is 1945 P. Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition, with remarkably vivid tonic and multiple colors, blanketing smooth, frosty features. According to PCGS sensors, a grading service certified 1980 specimens in MS67 grade, with only four numerically finer. This example was sold for $3,737.50. Number 12. This is 1965 Jefferson Nickel from Special Mint Set. A profound strike and condition rarities that combines an uncommon degree of field to device contrast for the type with virtually pristine surfaces. Untoned with captivating silver white appearance, the 1965 is the most challenging of the three regular issue SMS Jefferson Nickels of the 1960s to locate with deep camera designation from PCGS. This proof gem ended up selling for $3,120. Number 11. Here is 1953 Washington Quarter in PR68 deep cameo condition. Brilliant silver white surfaces offer strong contrast between frosty design elements and deeply mirrored fields. From a mintage of 128,800 pieces for this 1950s proof Washington Quarter issue, precious few of which combine a deep cameo finish with superb gem preservation, it was sold for $4,080. This is 2001 P. Sakaja Villadollar struck on a Kentucky State Quarter, graded in Mint State 66 by NGC. According to Heritage, Kentucky is faintly evident near Liberty. The 2001 date is perceptible beneath the slumbering infant, and the outline of the horse's head is also lightly apparent. According to the consigner, a well known mint error specialist, this is the sole known example of a Sacagawea struck on a Kentucky quarter. A few degrees on center toward 5 o'clock, it was sold for $5,750. Number 13, 
Number nine, here is 1990D Lincoln Centinema 64 brown condition. An error when it struck on a pre-1983 copper planchet. In 1990s, a mint was eight years into using copper-plated zinc planchets that weighed only 2.5 grams. To say that the existence of this coin is unusual is an understatement. Struck at the Denver mint, this piece likely owes its creation to the same unknown circumstances that produced a 1989D copper cent. Planchets were handled in bulk during manufacturing process and the most wrong planchet errors are attributed to the planchets of one denomination or alloy becoming lodged in hoppers or other machinery only to spring loose in a stock of another year or denomination. The 1943 copper cents were created in this fashion as well. This rare error penny was sold for $5,640. Number 8. This is 2000p Maryland Quarter struck on a clad dime planchet, graded as MS64 by PCGS. The old, line the old line state is complete, as is virtually all of Maryland and Liberty. The meat mark is near the rim, but identifiable. State quarter struck on dimes are rarely encountered due to improved riddlers, and this lustrous and problem free example was sold for $6,325. Number 7 here is 2000 P Saka Javier dollar in MS68 condition, graded in the mid state 68 by NGC. The so called Cheerios dollars were distributed as a promotional gimmick in boxes of breakfast cereal. The characteristic that distinguishes them from ordinary 2000 P Saka Javier dollar is detailed feather work on the eagle's tail feathers. This example is exceptionally well preserved with bright, semi reflective brass gold surfaces. It is housed in a custom two coin NGC slab with 2000 Lincoln cent, which is graded MS 66 red. It was sold for $6,600. Number 6 here is 1938 Washington Quarter in MS 67 plus condition. CEC proven wonderful 25 cent piece, a marvelous super gem example that should please even the most demanding specialists in the series. Absolutely full striking definition and satiny, pristine surfaces are evident on two sides of this impressive piece. It ended up selling for $7,343.75. Number 5. This is 1932 D. Lincoln Cent and 67 red condition. A brilliant superb gem with fire orange surfaces and frosted mint luster. This Denver Mint Depression era scent has exceptional eye appeal. Sharply struck design motifs are noted on both sides, and the pristine surfaces are virtually mark free with minimal carbon flux. It was sold for $8,225. Number 4. This is 1958 Lincoln Cent and MS67 Plus Red Condition. More than a quarter billion 1958 cents were struck, but very few survive in super gem condition with a PCGS Plus designation. This specimen comes with distinctive lilac accents around the Lincoln's head and rich reddish-orange colors throughout the incredibly smooth, sharply struck surfaces. Eye appeal is tremendous. It fetched the sum of $9,000. Number 3. This is 1939 Jefferson Nickel with reverse of 1938, graded as PR68 by PCGS. According to Stex Powers, silky smooth surfaces are adorned with beautiful silver rose, powder blue, and pale gold iridescence. Uniformly mirrored in finish, with a full strike and the strongest technical merits available in a proof Jefferson nickel of this date, it was sold for $18,400. Number 2. This is 1909 VDB Lincoln Scent Proof. Red gem in PR65 condition. The rarest of the proof Lincoln cents in the 1909 VDB. Only 1194 coins were produced, and yet its issue is even scarcer than that mintage suggests. Later, mud proofs such as 1915 and 1916 have even lower mintage, and yet they are more plentiful today than 1909 VDB. Some researchers suggest that only part of reported mintage was ever released, which, if true, could account for scarcity of this issue today. It was sold for $33,600. Number 
number one, and this is 1932D Washington Quarter in a 65 plus condition. Billowy satin luster greets the viewer from both sides of this smooth, highly attractive silver tint gem. Impressive technical quality and eye appeal for this key date and conditionally challenging issue from the first year of the Washington Quarter series. Though the 1932D's mintage of 436,800 pieces is nearly 30,000 more than its San Francisco mid counterpart. At grades of EF40 or finer, the 1932D becomes a key date of the series. This specimen ended up selling for $41,125. Thanks for watching this episode till the end. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe buttons below this video. And comment if you have such rare coins. Stay well.